Hello and what is up guys, Jack here from Ezekiel Gaming HD and this is episode 5 of the Squad Builder series and in this video I am going to show you the fastest possible BPL team using a formation with 3 at the back. Um, also the rules for this are you're not allowed to play someone out of position by two places. Uh, so what I mean by that is you're not allowed to play strikers in the centre mid position and you're not allowed to play centre mid players in the striker position and you know vice versa and you're not allowed to play players naturally out of uh, their original position basically. Um, I find 3-4-3 three, three formation to be the best one because you can have two wingers on each side effectively meaning you can make the most of all the pace of the eight quick attackers you can have on this team potentially. Um, if any of you guys can build a team using other formations um, such as 4-1-2-1-2 or 4-4-2 something like that I'm pretty sure you can get more pace out of a team with four at the back. Do so let me know in the comment section below. Uh, but to get the total pace for a team, to uh, add that up, all you've got to do is add up every single outfield player. So that excludes the goalkeeper, so there should be 10 players you're adding up. And the total number you, you get is the total pace for the team. The total pace for this team is 875, as you can see by the squad builder border. It's right there. Um, if any of you can build a BPL team quicker than that, let me know what players you put in that team in the comment section below and what the total pace is. But before I get going into the stats of this team, let me know in the comment section as well which league or nationality you'd like me to do in the next episode. Also, if you do enjoy this type of squad builder uh, from the normal, let me know. Um, drop a like on this video as well. It really does help out this kind of video. Anyway, also just want to say a quick shout out to the Game Keys. They are a cheap Ultimate Team coin website as well. They sell PSN cards and Microsoft points, so go check them out. Don't forget, you can also use the discount code uh, Ezek, E Z E K. And then you'll get an extra 5% off all purchases. All the links will be in the description anyway. So without further ado, getting into this squad. In goal we have Hugo Lloris, who has the most speed out of all the goalkeepers in this Premier League. Or in this, sorry, uh, BPL League. He cost me 8,700 coins, so he's pretty expensive. And he also has 86 diving, 80 handling, 89 reflexes and 81 positions in. So he's a very good goalkeeper. Um, moving into the centre-backs, we have Kabul who cost me 1,700 coins. He has 78 pace overall, gets a full strong link with Loris, obviously because he is the same nationality and he plays for the same club, meaning he's in also the same league. Um, in game wise, Kabul is an absolute monster, standing at six foot three with 80 defending and 83 heading. He also has 92 shot power, so don't be afraid to take a shot with this guy if you get open space. Our next centre back on the right is a player whose name I probably won't pronounce right. It's Chiriches or something like that. Um, you probably know who I mean anyway, or you probably know about this guy because he's one of the, he is the fastest centre back in the BPL. Um, he again gets a strong link with um, Kabul, but he is not the same nationality, so it's not as strong as Kabul and Lois. Um, he cost me 500 coins only, so he's very very cheap. He's almost as silver, um, and he has 82 pace as I mentioned before. Um, now moving over to the last centre back on the left, we have Mariapa for 9,500 coins. He's our first silver player of the team, he's got 79 pace and in game wise he keeps up with all the gold players, uh, no problems at all. Um, he does have high strength and jumping stats I would say which do help him out on set pieces which is quite important for his centre backs. Um, so that's sorted out of the defence, now moving up to the centre mids. We have Enzogbia for 2,300 coins. He usually plays in the cam position, so he costs a little bit more than uh, usual, usual basically. Um, he has 86 pace as well as 4 star skill, which is obviously very handy. And out of all the players on this team, I like using him the most. So out of every single player, all these pace players, he is the most fun to use. I find his stats just make him really, really feel very good on the ball, very balanced and very agile. Uh, but in other centre mid position, we have Ramirez, who cost me 8,400 coins. In his, in his position, although I have been using a CDM version of this card because I have another team where I like to play him in CDM. So the stats won't show the goals I've scored and the games that I've played with him, um, but I've just put him here for chemistry reasons so you can see how he fits in. Ramirez has 88 pace overall and is perfect for any kind of midfield just because he's an all-round great player. He's got high, high work rates, which means he's just an engine, keeps running and running, and he's also just very good at everything. Um, he's just That's probably why he's so popular. He's a Brazilian, 
and he's good at everything and he can play pretty much in cam, centre mid or CDM very very well. Now moving on to the wingers, starting on the left we have Lamar who cost 3,900 coins, he has 90 pace as well as having pretty decent strength and sprint speed in game, he's very fast at running in a straight line and just generally holding off players and just getting into that space where you can cross it in or fake in and uh, cut inside and take a shot that way as well. On the left wing we have Sterling for 950 coins, he has slightly more pace with 91 although unfortunately I didn't actually get to use him in his team, instead I used another player called Tonev who is a silver player, he, he was playing in this position until making this video so I was using him for the gameplay. Uh, despite that, looking at Sterling's stats and playing against him uh, online, he would fit in his team absolutely perfectly. He's got 4 star skills as well, uh, but also be aware in the goals at the end of this video there won't be any goals or gameplay from Sterling whatsoever. It will actually be Tonev in this position instead. Um, on the right side of the wing, we have Walcott in the right mid position. So I've moved him, well, I didn't move him, I bought him in the right mid position. He costs 4,200 coins, which is slightly more than usual, as I just said, because he plays usually on the right wing position. Um, he is the fastest player on this team with 96 total pace. And being an Arsenal fan myself, it makes it even more fun to use him. Um, again, moving up to the right wing, we have Miyachi or Miyachi, uh, 4,100 coins, who is another Arsenal player, so gets the strong links again. Miyachi also has four-star skill and four-star weak foot, as well as having 94 overall pace, so definitely raising uh, the average pace up there. Last player of this team, and the most expensive we have, is Eto. He cost me 28,500 coins and is an absolute awesome player, um, he is amazing at pretty much everything, he's strong in the air, fast, great ball control and great finishing as well, his overall pace is 91 which takes the total pace of this team to 875, uh, the total cost for this team as well in coins on the Xbox 360 is 70,000 coins, give or take a few thousand, it will be different on the PS3. So if any of you guys can build a faster BPL team using 4 at the back formation, let me know what that team is in the comment section below. Let me know what the total pace you got in that team was. And also let me know if there are any other leagues or nationalities you would like me to cover in an, an episode like this again. Uh, don't forget you can also leave a like if you enjoyed this video uh, or this episode. And make sure you do subscribe to me if you're new to watching me or any of my videos. And until next time guys, I'll see you later. Here are some goals that I scored with this team. Okay, here we go. Freestyle Friday number nine. Now, before you jump the gun on anything, this is supposed to be like a house party type song like 2004, so sing along when you can. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh just let me out. That Keeps ticking like a metronome And my thoughts keep telling me to get me home But my balls keep telling me to let me out Fuck all that shit, just let me go Words and tastemakers make us no chaser Get the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker Cut the middle man and inhale the vapors Man, man, huh? old ten times vapors Cut the tree box on, make the woofers blow low. We gon' sit here until all them heifers go Holler at the tens and spend a little dough Not on them, no, they can buy their own drinks Take the work week off, five days in the bucket Fuck it, you got a boss who's a jerk Who doesn't or want some Wu-Tang When the motherfucking ruckus, there is no pretext We are living and we love it on our budget, never mind. We just nudge it to the side, give the kids a little time. We are living till we die. Focused and we hustle, but we still be getting high. No exception to the rule, do what you do to get by. Cause I keep sticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Let me go. Out of house party getting jammed up. You were Tony Anza. When they ask who's the fucking boss, put your hand up. Never put it down, cause you're banging to the answer. 2010 trend, put the iPod on random. Wonder why I try to play this instead of handsome. Probably cause it gets the people moving like a handgun. Just like the little white fellas up in hand. Happy Easter from the motherfuckers living in the mansion. Yeah. Freestyle Friday number nine. Thanks to Rattatat for letting me steal their beat. It's very kind of them. They're nice guys. 
Anyway, happy uh, Easter weekend, I guess. I'm about to go up to Philly. I'll tell you why I chose this beat. I was driving around. It was real sunny the other day. It made me feel like it was like a Sunday morning after church as a little kid when my pepper used to buy me and my sister Slurpees. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, oh, just let me out. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Fuck all that shit, just let me go. Yeah, Freestyle Friday number nine. Uh, it is April 2nd. Everybody have a great weekend. Uh, go Phils, go O.